Could the soul be a biophysical reality? Do human beings have a soul that leaves after they die? While all recognized religions suggest that they do, scientists have been unable to confirm this belief. The soul remains an elusive entity which theoretically encompasses an individual's personality and consciousness. Through scientific experiments, Benjamin Sherlock, Ronald Sherlock, Tarun Dasari, and Sonny Poe at the University of Oklahoma Health Science Center recently investigated the soul. They carried out these experiments on a dwarf form of the organism Stentor corollius, which has regenerative abilities. Stentor corollius is typically between 0.5 and 2 millimeters in size. When subjected to dehydration, this single-celled organism is disrupted. After being rehydrated, it undergoes a cell division process whereby one cell develops into four mobile dwarf cells. In their initial experiments, the researchers dehydrated Stentor corollius cells before subsequent rehydration. Within two days, moving dwarf cells appeared. They covered these dwarf cells with chlorinated tap water, which kills them. Then, something fascinating took place. The motionless cells progressively developed replicate images of themselves, which were released from their original structure. Within 30 minutes, this transparent image gradually faded. In some cases, the team found that the replicate retracted back into the dead cell, which then came back to life. In other studies, the researchers used magnets to create an electromagnetic field in an attempt to influence this phenomenon. As before, they killed Stentor Corellius dwarf cells using chlorinated tap water, releasing their transparent replicates. The dwarf cells were stored near a jar of nutrient-rich solution. Within one day, the transparent replicates had migrated to the jars with the growth-inducing substance. After several days, these transparent cells in the substance started slowly moving and clustering, suggesting that they were beginning a new life cycle. However, in the presence of a magnet, the replicates did not move into the jar, suggesting that they are electromagnetic in nature. The researchers hypothesize that these replicate images are a form of electromagnetic energy that is an inherent part of the living cell. The post-death phenomenon they observed in Stentor Corellius may be a trait that applies to all living organisms, including humans. This trait may suggest that living organisms are composed of two different parts a body, and a soul, which separate after death. In the future, the researchers' fascinating insights could inspire new scientific studies that test this hypothesis on other organisms.